My name is Daryl Holland, and I'm going to show you how to improve your reloading, be it for varmint hunting, target shooting, or big game hunting. Tricks and tips to help you get more out of your rifle. Some of you have spent big bucks on a custom-made rifle or are trying to refine and tune a factory rifle. These loading tips that we're going to show you today are going to help you do so. We'll show you about weighing cases. Remember, the key to accuracy is uniform. Like Imperial Sizing Lube over that mandrel if they're a little bit tight. We just don't want to avoid a lot of torque and horsepower in turning that neck. All right, so we've got a little bit of lube on it. Let's show you how it works. Like holding them in this fashion, we're going to start with our cordless driver. Just bring it up, and you can see we're shaving off just a little bit of brass. We'll adjust that depth right down to the neck shoulder junction, and then very slowly return it. This is going to give us a very nice, smooth, uniform turning on the outside of our neck. <sighs> okay, if you do We filled our cartridge cases with 42 and a half grains of 4064. Now it's time to cap them off with that new Nosler J4 Competition 168 grain match bullet. <clears throat> We're going to use a Wilson cedar die. These are available from the folks at Wilson. It's a really snazzy seating die. You need to use it in conjunction with an arbor press, however. Before we get started, so we don't seat it too low, seat the bullets too deep, I like to take and back off the standard seating adjustment a little bit. We'll take a bullet, set it in our case, sleeve our die over the top. Just that, seat our arbor press down. Going to remove that bullet. We're going to check it in what we call a bullet seating gauge. If you have a custom rifle, your gunsmith has probably produced one of these for you. In our next segment, we'll show you about reloading the case and how to tune it up to your factory rifle, getting that bullet as close to the lands as possible. I'm going to go ahead and set the cartridge in our gauge. You will notice that the shoulder of the cartridge is not contacting the shoulder of the gauge. This tells right, us that we we're need running around two and a half thousandths with the bullet seated on our run out. We're getting towards the upper end of our acceptable level, but again, more than adequate for what we're doing. Okay? So we'll retain that there. Let's go ahead and seat another bullet and check concentricity. If we find that we're going out of our band of, of concentricity at that point, make sure and check your case.